It's been a few years that we've talked to you in all these different capacities. So I think 2021 was the first one, then 22, et cetera, and beyond. Um, thinking back to that first time we sat down, um, who are you, you know, it's three years later. Who are you then? Who are you now? You know, I think in big picture, uh, the same, same person, but of course, like, a uh, couple more years, more experience in uh, in life and in hockey also, and uh, especially like um, it has happened a lot in in last year and uh, last spring. Uh, I was in in that um, I got the injury, so that was kind of a big uh, somehow big turning point also for me in the life. When you say turning point, was that personal life, career? You know, you, the injury happened a few days before you showed up at Women's Worlds. You know, you went on, you win your championship, then you go to captain your team with all these accolades and milestones. Um, so what elements of that turning point were really effective for you? Mm. I think in general, like, um, it was a big, big hit, obviously, to be involved in that kind of accident. And, uh, you know, I have always been the one who focused to the next goal and uh, that I did also last spring and uh, that has worked for me always. But then um, maybe later on it has came uh, more and more up. Uh, and I have tried to go through it and uh, step by step that what happened and uh, it has also been uh, bad uh, injuries uh, this uh, this season in in hockey so those uh, those moments has also kind of uh, hit me back in last uh, spring and what happened and so you need to appreciate every moment that you are here. Agreed. I mean, there's been a lot of, you're right, there's been a lot of big accidents in hockey. Um, can you talk a little bit about how that changes, yeah, talk a bit about how that changes you, how it changes the team, how it changes how you approach everything from practices to going to the rink to getting ready for the game? Um, of course, um, we have talked about it a lot and tried to, uh, you know, have those moments with the team and that you can uh, say how you feel, what you think, and um, but in inside the hockey rink, uh, it's same, it's same sport. You go, you go out, and you you will do your best. You will fight in every situation and. Uh, I, so that that's why I think it's really important that you have places and uh, possibilities to talk about it, because when you step on on the ice, then it's like uh, you need to be there. You need to be ready to to every situation, and so um, it's really it has been really hard to see all these. Uh, accidents uh, and injuries what has happened now this season but um, still like <sighs> hockey is really uh, fast sport and there is always possibilities to that things goes wrong so you you need to appreciate and and uh, enjoy those moments that you can you can still play and I think the game is just getting faster and the speed and the skill is just getting better and better and better. Um, in terms of like the mental, we've ta I've talked to a lot of girls before about uh, mental coaching and how that really comes into play. Do you work with a mental coach or read things about how to kind of work mentally through anything that's bothering you? Um, 
we have a person with uh, Team Finland that we can uh, talk and go through different kind of things. So that's a really, really big thing for, for us as a team. And then um, I think I have been uh, really blessed to have good coaches during the years and I have good connection for for people who has been near my uh, my journey so I have always had uh, people to help me with uh, different kind of things that if I have needed and so I'm really happy that uh, I have those people that I can talk about also this uh, mental side. Did those exist when you were a young teenager playing hockey? Um, yo. I think whole my journey as an athlete, I have had that kind of coaches that I have always could talk about, like also how I feel, how I am, how I approach uh, games and practices. And so I'm really lucky that I have had that kind of help uh, through my my years in in uh, hockey and like when I have grown up and. Also, I think a lot of um, uh, or big thank you goes for um, older players that I have played with, that there has been really good persons that uh, they have helped you also in, in different kind of things in, in life, like there happens all the time things. So um, I have uh, been really in, in a good place and good teams that there has been this kind of people that they, they, you know, you can lean on them and ask help and they have guide you also on the way. If you didn't have those great people in your life, do you think you'd be the player you are today? No, no, I think uh, it, it's uh, like, you know, it, it's quite a long journey already. <laughs> So I think um, uh, there has been a lot of coaches and a lot of like co-players uh, who has, uh, of course, uh, formed me who, who I am today. So uh, beside of, of course, my family and so I'm, I'm really thankful for them and it has been really like honored to play with this um, like my idols back in the day. So, uh, and I know that they have always uh, been there for me also after they have retired. Uh, back in the spring, speaking of family, we got to meet your mom, or I got to meet your mom, and that was really sweet. Uh, so talk a little bit about your family. How much have you gotten to really, I guess, connect with them, especially over this past season and this past year? Um, Mm, I think it was really big, uh, big thing for uh, everyone in the family. Like, of course, what happened last spring and it uh, uh, hit hard, of course, for for my parents to see um, and not to be able to be there, actually, uh, in in same place. So, um, but I think. Uh, we have talked about it a lot and uh, mm, well, what can I say like they have always been there for me I know um, mm, I can I can talk talk with them uh, about what happened and um, I'm really thankful that uh, you know they are there for me and we have uh, <laughs> I have lived uh, last um, eight years in Sweden, so you don't have so many opportunities during the hockey season to meet uh, meet your family back home in Finland. So those are always special moments that you can go home or they come and visit you. So, but uh, I think they are they are kind of my like superpower there behind, and I know they. They will always cheer for me, and uh, it doesn't matter how it goes in hockey. You know, they 
my mom is always happy and she's like good game so <laughs> that's uh, that's the really nice um, nice part that you know that uh, you will try to do your best and they are always proud of you that's really lovely um, does your mom know anything about what's going on in hockey or she's just there cheering uh, I think during the years she has uh, learned more and more but uh, she likes to watch, uh, watch all the games and uh, with my dad so uh, they are trying to see our league games uh, through some channel and uh, of course like <coughs> during the spring that's a special time for my mom tried to always take a uh, free from work so she can follow the worlds and so that's really really nice if you could take one lesson from your parents, either that they've taught you or something they said to you. Is there something that comes to mind? Uh, I think a lot, but um, oh, I'm really thankful how they have gave me that uh, uh, opportunity to put my energy to sport. Uh, fight for my dreams and it's kind of a different life that they have had and so I'm really thankful how how they have support me uh, on my way and uh, like I know that they have um, give me that opportunity also that I can uh, put everything for for hockey and for sport and they have been supporting uh, a lot me on that journey and I think um, it's really nice that uh, y they see now that where women's hockey has grown and uh, it, it, there is more and more possibilities for the next generation also and kind of uh, I can age of 36 still uh, like live that uh, little Jenny's dream to be a pro athlete and pro hockey player. So it's nice that they have seen that also. Obviously, there's a lot of conversations around women's hockey this season. Um, PWHL kind of kickstarting that. Efe Zug kicking off this season too. Um, how exciting is it to be part of whether or not you know there's expansion or anything like that but how exciting is it for you to know that little Yenny's dream of of becoming a pro player growing the game now there's so much media attention around women's hockey how is ex how exciting is it for you to be part of that uh, it's extremely nice to see just uh, how this um new league in North America, how they have uh, started and how people are really like interested uh, of the game of the players and um, uh, I think for me like it's a, such a warm feeling inside to see that these women has that opportunity now because they really deserve it. Uh, and uh, it's also a really big thing, of course, for these uh, young kids, uh, young girls to see that um, just keep dreaming that when we have started, uh, that was a dream. So now it's reality that you can play there uh, and you can play uh, different places also to be a pro now. So. Um, no, it's super nice to see and uh, I'm excited to also watch those games a little bit like from from, Finland, uh, from Sweden I have been watching of course how it goes for my former teammates Johanna Fellman and, and uh, Susanna Tappani so it's really really nice to see their games. Uh, how do we keep this momentum around women's hockey going? It's, gonna, it's big this season but then there's a few months off and 
you need to do more in 24. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, good people working uh, behind, like you, and uh, like all these uh, staff members or uh, people around uh, leaks. Like I know they are doing a lot of work to to that that. Uh, you can see women's hockey in different eyes now and mostly that we are up there in in the media so and I know the players are just like making their best to be better every year so we will improve the game also and uh, that will be of course a big thing to keep keep the women's hockey there so I I'm sure back in 2021 or in 22 in any of these previous women's world championships, I've asked you the question of in five years or what does the future of women's hockey look like? Given this season that we've had, what does the future of women's hockey look like in your mind right now? Mm, I hope that um, there is more and more teams uh, for that North American league and of course that it's uh, growing also in Europe and in Finland in Sweden and in uh, middle Europe those leagues that there is more and more places for for women to play in uh, pro level and um, I don't see any any like why it would not go in that direction because we have a lot of a lot of uh, girls coming up for this uh, our sport and so I know that there is people who works for those open opportunities that uh, we can keep uh, keep playing in a high level is there one moment that you think about or that happens that reminds you this is all worth it Mm. I think <laughs> this sport like somehow like it gives you so much emotions you know you want to win but sometimes you lose it doesn't matter like you do your best but there is always the opponent also and and uh, so um, of course like big big games to to see your teammates be happy after the game that we have uh, achieved the goal what we have had or then also like um, these awful uh, situations and accidents what also has happened um, still how the hockey communi community comes together and um, you know they are there for help these people and um, that also shows that we are actually like doing something good that in 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 awful moments we come together and we help and and so that has been extremely nice to see yeah agreed i think the the hockey community has had a rough season mm globally um, and yeah it's really we're just one big family yeah. it's very small despite it being global yeah. for you uh, you're 36 it's okay we're the same age so I can <laughs> <laughs> we can laugh about that yeah. um, you've been to the Olympics multiple times you captained a championship winning team with your club team multiple times you've been to the women's worlds as captain um what's next what else hmm you know i know like when you say it like that i know there is uh, life after hockey also but uh, just now like i said before uh, i can uh, still live in that dream uh, and enjoy to be like a uh, pro athlete, do, do my best every day. So uh, I'm still enjoying it a lot and I wanna 
uh, keep doing it and keep pushing me and keep pushing uh, people around me and uh, also like inspire these younger players and uh, help them uh, on the way uh, that they can achieve their dreams but um, mm, we will see what it is then uh, after but uh, until that we i will just enjoy of uh, playing <laughs>